Hey there, it's Pete C for Samply Review, and today I'm checking out Souls to Plowshares by Mass Movement with Sound Iron. Souls to Plowshares is a truly unique library created by Ukrainian sound designer and composer Max Histaby. This is a sound design library that Max has created during the Ukrainian invasion. With support from Sound Iron, Max has captured the everyday sounds from his home near Kiev and has put them into contact form. Whilst the sounds are usable in several genres, each captured sound tells a poignant story. Very much one of the most intriguing sample libraries of the year. Source to Plowshares downloads at 3.3 gigabytes and all samples were captured in the Ukraine at 48K 24-bit resolution. There is a combination of playable instruments and sound design and Source to Plowshares uses a single NKI with onboard effects. Source to Plow Shares runs in the free contact 6.2.2 or better and is also NKS compatible. Source to Plow Shares normally sells for 59 euros but is on sale at a 20% discount with code HISTOBE20. I've loaded up Source to Plow Shares and I must point out before we dive in that I have loaded this in contact. The reason being I did buy this as soon as it was released and it wasn't encoded by native instruments at that point so i'm waiting for my code to come through so this is why my review is in contact anyway now that's out of the way source of plowshares it's a single nki instrument and you can see there are two layers and two synth layers so layer one is active and you have all these different categories for the layers so let's hear some alarms So Max, the creator of Source of Plowshares, he sampled all of these sounds in situation as they happened. And I know sort of sampling in uh, sort of like Foley sampling and music concrete and all that is uh, nothing new. It just, as I say, I use the word poignant um, for all these sounds tell a story. They've happened somewhere. So these are alarms and you find in the layers it's more the sound design. So let's go to the next category. These are animal effects and I believe some of the sounds were also recorded at the Carpathian Mountains. And then we have Bless. Let's go turn contact down a little bit. And then let's go for impact effects. Very cool. And nature effects. So 
that's nature effects, and then we've got tool effects. So I'm thinking straight away, just playing through these effects. I do quite a lot of horror underscore and with a little bit of effects, and there is an effects rack here. Um, these would be awesome to throw in. Uh, we've got transport effects next. So you can create instant scenes going there. So that takes us to um, or through those layers. So if we've got alarms there, and nature effects, and then you can bring both layers in together. So if I move to transport effects, for example, So you can just create these whole scenes of sound and tell these stories. Now, if I'm turn those off, we have Amber Synth as well. So in the Amber Synth, you have all of these playable instruments. So um, I'm actually going to start at the top with sustains. And then these have subcategories as well, as you can see. So I would use these sort of generally as tension builders. You can change the pitch as well uh, using the pitch controls, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, but yeah. So that's ambient tones, ambient textures. There we have ambient grooves. Radio tones. So these are sounds you just don't find anywhere else. That That's the point. Um, it's a very, very unique library. Radio textures.
That's brilliant. Uh, Radio Voices. Okay, so that is the sustains. Let's go to one shots. So we have boomers. It's got to find them. The, the reason I love complete control, or one of them, is obviously the keys are all lit up. So I can't wait to get my code. Yeah, some really cool sounds there. Um, then we've got falls. <laughs> then we have hits. And then we have risers. Then stingers. And voices. Okay, then the next category uh, we have environments. And then we have the mountains. Just some really nice sort of background ambience. And then klaxons. Very cool. And then we have subsynth sustains. So we have a sign. And then we have all these different types of synth. So if you do listen to the demos on uh, the Mask Movement website or the Sound Arm website, you're gonna hear these synths in a lot. And uh, yeah, they're very, very cool. Let's just go one more. Let's do square. Yeah, very cool. So the key switches, uh, they change the synth as well. And then you get the same for the staccatos.
yeah and there we go and you can have that on Amsynth 2 as well so um gonna go with some cigar sorry synth sustains again i've not turned any layers on probably not the best combination because you've got to hold a single note down now that is the content of swords to plowshares um very very interesting lots of sounds that you know I, I could find a lot of application in terms of crime tension um horror for sure and yeah uh if, if you sort of do video game you need some sounds and some effects this is useful as well um so you can obviously layer up doesn't have to be Just sounds a bit odd quite haunting i like that um so you can layer up all four layers if you want to and off you go now there are um let me have a look so you have different vol uh, sorry different controls You've got volume attack offset pad uh. So you can adjust the release by turning that. I'll go turn off that. There we go. So that's kind of like a sustain situation. Oops. Then we've got vibrato. I change the depth and the rate. And then the panning. So you have width. And then the pitch. So the controls are straightforward. And then there is um, crossfade as well. So if I turn this back on. So yeah, controls are really, really straightforward. Um, so the crossfade I was just playing with, you got to sign what it is. So that's bringing up layer A, as you can hear there. Um, yeah, really cool. Then, what else do we have? We have the effects rack. So if you use sound iron instruments, you're very much used to using these. Um, they really are good fun. So let's just add some massive reverb. I think I've gone too far. Whoops. Turn it on. Ah, I've got the crossfade going on as well. Um, let's go back out there. Dun, dun, dun. So you can throw any effects you want on there. Um, 
also ein Distortion. I'm a bit of a sucker for those sort of distorted synths. Yeah, that sound real. So you've got all the different effects. You can select a different preset. Let's do one more. Yeah, it just sounds awesome. And there you go, Source of Plowshares. Um, great instrument. All oh, there is settings as well. Um, again, you've got the LFO filter up. You enable them as you wish to. Um, and then, yeah, you could just sort of tweak the sounds further as you'd like to. And there's a legato uh, control as well. So if you do want to turn any of these into ARPs, for example, because I, I am actually using this library doing some crime music at the moment. Um, click on ARP and let's go. The staccatos are really good for this. I will just make sure. There we go. Get to that point where I just want to start creating and messing about, um, but yeah, so you can further adjust all the sounds. Let's go turn that off for a moment. So, yeah, um, really, really cool. Now, I love using the ARP uh, specifically, and you assign that to the layer you're on as well. So, if you click on the layer, and then you'll notice the layer changes up there. Really, really interesting, intriguing library. Lots of amazing, unique sounds. It's really, really well made. Um, Soundguyen uh, sort of worked with Max to get um, all the sounds into the instrument. And um, just worthy of note, if you do purchase from the web, uh, sorry, the Soundguyen website, it will actually direct you to the Mask Movement website, which is Max's. Um, so great to to show him some support because like I say it's a, a very intriguing and unique library. So my final thoughts about Saws to Plowshares. Uh, I'll keep using the word unique and it is very very unique. It's got a great combination of sound design and playable instruments and of course you can tweak those to your heart's content to make them sound like you want them to. Uh, for me I'm using it in conjunction with other libraries um, to just sort of create really cool like ambiences um i love the synths on here and obviously the sound design the effects i'm putting like loads of compression and massive reverbs on the one shots and the booms and yeah it's just starting to sound really really cool so my application is i'm using it in crime using intention using it in horror scoring but there's nothing stopping you doing it in uh like sorry ambient music or using it in ambient sorry um and you can get some like sort of very very chilled out sounds it's just a really interesting library as i keep saying i'm a big fan of um 20th century minimalism as well and certain aspects of this library really lend itself to that as well it comes highly recommended from a sonic point of view and instrument design but also every sound tells a, tells a story and it's not like this has been sampled in a studio um, this is out in the field and I, I just think it's an amazing product um, to be created in that way. Thank you so much for checking out this review of Swords to Plowshares by Mask Movement with Sound Iron. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and leave us a comment. What do you think about the instrument? 
Do you like how it sounds? How would you use it? If you're not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and then check out our other videos and then head over to samplelibrareview.com to see the latest and greatest in virtual instruments. Until next time, take care and have a great day.